How's it going YouTube's Undying Art bringing you another custom showcase. Today we have a bunch of customs by uh, someone on Instagram who's recently changed his handle so I forgot what he's called. He used to be called GTB Customs. I've just realised my base is rising off the floor. Um, but he recently changed his name to something else so I'll have to leave that in the link in the description. Um, so all three of these, three of these? Four of these are customs like Mezco style soft goods Star Wars figures. So we have um, season two Mandalorian Boba Fett. Then we have season one, no season two because of the thigh, thigh pad and knee pad. Season two Mandalorian. There's a Mafex Grogu for size comparison. Um, a black series Typhon Boba Fett with a custom head sculpt by me. And then on the far right we have the uh, Book of Boba Fett, Mandalorian. Mandalorian, sorry, Boba Fett. So Mandalorian comes with not the Darksaber, that's what I have. Um, he comes with a hand to grip the Beskar Spear and the Beskar Spear. I believe this is from the model kit. So he also comes with a gripping down hand for the rifle. And then he comes with a jetpack. Nothing new to this, it's literally just the model kit jetpack. It doesn't look coloured in any kind of way, so that's a bit disappointing, but oh well. So, taking a closer look at Season 2 Mandalorian, even though he's got the uh, rifle, so it shouldn't actually be Season 2. And the cool thing is, it's a leather strap, but the not cool thing is, is it's glued onto the rifle, so you can't... Unless it's a peg, I'm not sure. Ah, never mind. Very cool thing. He has glued a peg onto the lever so you can unhook the rifle so you can have a more accurate season 2 look where he doesn't have the rifle but looking at the armour it is the model kit with a fully poseable body underneath pretty cool head sculpt is a CB Prince head sculpt I believe, it's definitely not the model kit and then the bandolier and belt is leather instead of plastic like the model kit and so is the pistol holster and the cape is the model kit cape which sucks ass <laughs> to put it nicely but I don't have a spare one to switch out so we've got to have this weird papery rectangular cape which just looks crap <laughs> but that's not his fault that is the model kit's fault the one downside to using a model kit is you don't get any ball jointed wrist you just get a, a hinge not a hinge a peg uh, like that <laughs> um, so you can't really get some great poses because you can only swivel but I mean you can get some decent poses out of it the body does feel a bit like it's fighting me whenever I pose it but the only other annoying thing is the chest piece rides high all the time so he looks a bit awkward but I mean you can get some cool poses so if he stands up on his own of course he won't I mean, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, the biggest issue is definitely the chest piece makes him look a bit weird, kind of puffy. But pretty cool nonetheless. And just for a quick size comparison with Mando, here he is with my Mafex Mandalorian, which I still think is one of the best Mafex figures ever made. Um, there's nothing custom about this? Oh, the cape is custom, but that's it. Uh, so he stands a bit taller than the Mafex. And unfortunately I don't have any Mezcos near me to show Mezco scale. 
but let's get on to one of the Bobas next. So this is the Mandalorian Season 2 Boba Fett using the Black Series parts and then a, I think it's the Black Series body underneath. That's randomly folded out for some reason. With soft goods, pants and stuff like that. So it's got the same articulation as the Black Series. Looks really cool on the shelf. The presence of it is definitely a bonus. He does use the rangefinder as well. And that's what the head looks like underneath. Definitely been destroyed. But I don't like removable helmets anyway, so it doesn't bother me at all. And of course, now that I try, I can't get him to... Oh no, there you go, he's still up. And there he is, firing his blaster. Looking very cool. Now, I can't remember which one comes with which, but he did give me some CB Prince hands for one of the Boba Fetts, as they both have the same gloves, so I think it's supposed to be for the Book of Boba Fett, but you can use it for either. Well, I suppose you're not going to buy both of them like I did. Boba Fett died in the background. Here's the Book of Bet. Here's the Book of Boba Fett helmet. Black Series, I mean. I think it's Black Series, I can't remember now. Or it might not be. No, it looks like... It, yeah, I think it's the 3D printed parts on a body. Not sure what the base body is though. But this looks really cool as well. Love the jetpack on this. I got this way before I got the SH Figure Arts, so this was my Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett for a long time. So he did get defriend by the figure arts, but it's still cool. And he can look down the sights. I can't remember how poseable he is from the legs. I think the issue with both Boba Fett's is the jetpack weighs him down, makes him back heavy. So he just wants to constantly fall over. And then here we have the Typhon Boba Fett with a model kit head sculpt. Painted by me, so the head sculpt looks crap. <laughs> um, but this is a Black Series Typhon Boba Fett, just with soft goods over the top. I don't think he did any drumming or anything like that. Um, but it does look good. The only issue is, like, there's just bits of glue, fabric glue on it, which I don't know how to get rid of. But apart from that, it looks pretty cool. And it looks very cool on my shelf. And because it's the Black Series... I know it's articulation, and because I know it's articulation, I know how far I can push it. So I hope you enjoyed these, I wouldn't say review, these showcases. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button and a dislike if you didn't. Let me know in the comment section what you think of these figures. If you want to get a custom from him, I don't know if he's still does Star Wars, I know he's gone heavily into Transformers, but hit him up on Instagram. Um, I'll leave a link to his Instagram in the description, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.